Hey, what's going on, everybody? And thank you for joining me again on my YouTube channel, the Keen and Jerome Roy Network. Uh, if this is your first time to the channel, please uh, hit that bell. Please subscribe uh, so that you know when new videos are being posted. Um, once you watch this video and you want to contribute, uh, comment below. Let's start this conversation. Say what's up. Say hello. Uh, and also like and share. Uh, today we're going to be watching a video uh, that actually took place in a town near where I used to live, where I lived in Pennsylvania. It's a Lyft driver cancels ride on racist bar owner and his wife. This should be interesting. Let's take a look. For Jackie, right? Yeah. How are you? Yeah, you're like a white guy. What's that? Are you like a, a white guy? Excuse me? Are you like a normal guy? Like you speak English? Sorry. Sorry. No, you, you can get out of the car. What? It's a ride. That's inappropriate. What? It's completely inappropriate. If somebody was not white sitting in the seat, what would be the difference? Are you serious? She said, wow, you're a white guy. So, that's okay. I'm not going to take the ride. You guys can get out. Really? Yeah. Completely inappropriate. Oh, you're a fucking asshole. It's all on you're camera, man. Shit. It's all on I camera. I punch you in the fucking face. Oh you're going to threaten God. me. Yeah, it's all threat. Yeah. Wow. Because you guys are racist fuck. Because you're a fucking asshole. Yeah. Fucking nigger lover. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. No. No, I'm calling the cops on you, man. Why? It's all on camera. It's all on camera. You guys own the place. Is it your place? That's great. Everyone's going to know. Fossil's last stand for black people, right? Yeah. So the name of the bar, if you heard at the end, was a Fossil's last stand. That's the name of the place that those two people that were getting in the back um, owned. And it's in a place called Catasasqua, Pennsylvania, which is ironic that it's like an Indian name, Native American name, rather, uh, that was stolen obviously, and um, the people that came out, they were pretty racist. That escalated quickly. And let me tell you something. I used to live around that area. It's called the Lehigh Valley of Pennsylvania on the um, east coast of the state of Pennsylvania. And I used to valet at the hospital and at restaurants downtown. And let me tell you something. When some of these people, they're paying you to serve them, they think they can talk to you anyway. Uh, anyway, they see fit. Some of them even think we're in Django Unchained. They be, they just be saying all, all types of disrespectful stuff. I think we're just going to handle it or take it. And it's interesting how the Lyft driver responded, which kudos to him. Kudos to him for standing up and 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 not taking that kind of uh, that kind of disrespect and standing up against racism. The funniest thing about it is they just then attack him like he said yo that was racist why would you be satisfied that i'm a white guy it went as far as to, the dude called him an n-word lover you know like this is the 1950s you know what i mean um which is an interesting choice of words if you weren't a racist i mean when the guy was like yo y'all are racist they didn't deny it they were just like, man, you're you're an inward lover. I'm gonna kick your ass, man. It's ugh. In 2022, people are still living in the past. But the funniest thing about this whole situation is that people have been going to the bars uh, Yelp to leave a review. And let me just read to you some of these reviews. So, so the place is called Fossil's Last Stand, and it's people that don't even live in uh in pennsylvania here's one it says this place is horrible i had a burger and fries and it had to be the most disgusting thing i've eaten in my life i literally threw up after my second bite also the owners are racist disgusting and horrible people never go to this place i wouldn't recommend this place to an aunt now keep in mind you're not allowed to leave like personal political reviews of places they have to be they have to be like specific to the business uh so people are like giving 
business related reviews and then coming at the end they're saying staff was rude owners racist food disgusting drinks watered down believe do not waste your time coming to this place um okay here's here's one dude from texas says attempted to order a drink at the bar but was hard to communicate due to the noise level of the clan meeting going on behind me would not recommend this place if you're a person of color hilarious this is hilarious um i don't know you reap what you sow i guess uh i would never be an uber or lyft driver no disrespect for the people that do it but i don't have the patience for someone to be calling me the n-word by the ride in my back seat uh they would catch hands or something you know what i'm saying but uh more power to you Congrats to that uh, man that stood up against racism. Everyone that's driving uh, Lyft and Uber, be safe out there. Passengers that are taking Lyfts and Ubers, don't be racist. Yo, if you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can see new videos. What did you think of what happened in this video? Go ahead and uh, comment below. I'd love to start the conversation. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys take care.